What's going on guys? It is Hunter here back with another video. And if you're watching this, it's probably because you suck at finding winning products, but no worries. I'm here to help solve that problem. And so if you didn't already figure it out in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use Calidata to find winning products on TikTok shop or Amazon private label, or if you're doing branded drop shipping, whatever it is, how can you use Calidata to find the winners? Because I'm telling you, I use a couple of strategies that most sellers do not even know about. So just wait, watch out for the hidden gem in the video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy the video. I'm sure I'm gonna be dropping lots of game and sauce. So stick around to the end and I'll see you there. All right, so why do you suck at finding winning products on TikTok? I can probably answer that question. Most people are struggling because they're looking for seasonal and trendy products because obviously TikTok caters to those kind of products because it's such a fast cycle loop like platform. But the trick is basically, instead of looking for the seasonal and trendy items, what I tend to do is is I'm looking for products that are in a niche that is in a growing market. And so we can use Google Trends, and some other platforms to check what market is growing, but typically you can kind of feel it in the atmosphere, in the economy or whatever's going on. You can kind of pick up on what's going out and what's coming in. So we're gonna get right into that. I'm gonna be showing y'all how I use Calidata to identify some of those gaps and how I use Calidata to also find viral strategies to bring and implement into a product. So make sure you stick around. We're gonna get that right now. So here's to the screen share. All right. All right. We are inside of Calidata. I know this can kind of seem overwhelming at the beginning, like almost every software, but don't worry. I'm going to kind of break it down in a couple of like tools that you're really only going to be using. The rest of it, you know, right now isn't really applicable when you're trying to do product research. So starting here at the top, you can see that it does TikTok and Amazon. I primarily use Calidata for TikTok. So I'm going to be talking mainly on the TikTok side of things. But if y'all do want me to do a video on the Amazon side, make sure to comment that and let me know and I can do that next. So on the top here, we have our different subsections within Calidata. On the left hand side, you're gonna have your filters within each subsection. So we're on the category side because that's typically where I stay, but I'll kind of click around and show you all what the rest is. So shop is obviously every top grossing revenue brand on TikTok. Creators, all the top grossing creators. Products, all the top products in all niches. All the top videos that are currently growing and all of the top live streams. So this live stream is a whole another part of Calidata that I'm going to do a whole separate video on because this is actually, I think the next biggest thing on TikTok, but we'll talk about that later. So when we're doing product research, I start in the category section. And so something that I like to do is I like to filter by 30 days, the last most recent 30 days. And then I will pick my category here. So beauty and personal care. I love this niche. Women's and underwear. I do not really indulge in this niche. I don't know this niche very well, so I'm not going to really speak on it. But what I will do is I'll go to the health niche. This is something that I like to stay into. I really have most of my experience launching health brands, supplement brands, wellness brands. And so that's typically where I'll stay. So we're going to open this up. It always opens in a new tab, but we're going to do this. This is going to be like your overall health ranking category page. So you're going to see a lot of different stats. You know, it's down. Just really doesn't really matter. Most of the stuff you don't really care about right now. What we're going to be going immediately to is this product ranking. You're going to see the top 10 products. You can also see shop ranking, but I, like I said, like to do product ranking here. There's uses for creator and brands, but right now we're just going to be doing products. So we're going to click more and we're going to open up all of the top producing brands or products actually within the health category. And you can see my filters have already done this. So it's the last 30 days health. You can do a lot of cool things here. So you can filter by revenues. So like how much revenue this brand has done per month, you know, revenue source. I like to do video, but you don't have to revenue trend. There's a really good use use case to using growing. I and mean, we actually might use it for the sake of the video because it's going to show you using Calidata's algorithm or calculation to figure out which ones are growing the fastest. And so I like to filter this on because we are looking for up and coming niches. You don't have to have this on. It just makes things a little bit faster. You can miss things if you do. The rest of the stuff, don't really worry about. I'm actually going to do this and show you a couple of different ways we can do this later down the road. But for now, we're going to start with submit. Okay, guys. So once we're at the product page and we can see all of the top products inside the health niche, we're going to start by identifying products that we do not want to compete in. You may think that's a little backwards, but that's exactly the reason. We want to identify what niches we don't want to go into and then identify the ones that are still an option and then take from those and see which one has the biggest ROAS or the, the highest opportunity value. So we're going to start here by going line by line, checking out each product and trying to figure out which one is being repetitive. And then from there, I'll take you through the next step. 
step. So we're going to keep a little tally up here. Maybe we'll open a Google Doc and show you the tally or on the screen. We'll pop it up. But nitric oxide, which is going to be a natural supplement capsules, blood circulation and prostate health is what this is for. So we kind of keep that in mind. Blood circulation, prostate. Boom booms. These are awesome. These are nasal sticks. This is actually a really niche thing that I didn't think would blow up on TikTok, but it's crazy how well it's kind of, you know, gathered to everyone. The videos are so easy to make go viral. So another cool one, ashwagandha, Kingmaker, shout out Rob. This is a testosterone replacement or testosterone booster. More ashwagandha, Robella, Moringa, no, Moringa capsules. Okay. So Moringa does like gut immune support, oregano oil. This is a big one. This one's growing fast. BHB formula, Lipozym. I've actually never seen this. This is an interesting one because typically I know these ingredients. I've never seen this one. So we're going to open it up and maybe save it for later, but not really the point of right now. We keep looking for repetitive things. So Moringa, here it is again. Cayenne pepper is the first one I've seen of cayenne pepper. Interesting metabolism boosting. All right, this goes back to like immune and gut. So it's, you know, obviously a pretty big niche right now. Goalie, I'm going to skip. Liquid car. Okay. Yep. It's like another pre-workout drink or something like that. CMOS, collagen, creatine, L-methate folate. Never seen this. I vitamins, like macular generation. Um, sure. Something like that. Colon. Okay. We've seen a lot of colon stuff. Greens. These are great. These are going to be multivitamins for women's. We'll skip collagen. We'll see already seen oil of oregano. We've already seen sea moss. All right. You're starting to see we're on page three now and you're starting to see a lot of repetitors. So we've already seen a woman's like support. We've already seen collagen. We've already seen oil of oregano. We've already seen sea moss. We've already seen a, what is this? It's a detox supplement, probably like a gut detox. We've already seen this. We've already seen an eye one. Look at this. Here we go. You're starting to see my point now. We've already seen collagen and cortisol. We've already seen ashwagandha. We've already seen a woman's all in one. And what is this? This is new. Mega red, pure Antarctic concentrate, omega form one liver sea cot. Yeah. I don't know what this one is. It's interesting. I'll pick it up for later. We'll keep moving. But you see what I'm looking for, right? We're seeing repetitive products. We're on page three, we're seeing a lot of the same things already, right? What's this? This is going to be another immune. This is like the fifth immune thing we've seen. Rosemary and biotin. What is this? I'm not sure what this is. Joints. We've seen, we've, I've seen some joint stuff already. Ashwagandha or at sleep, melatonin. Don't worry about that. Wait, what is that? Matcha mine. I've never seen that. Liquid chlorophyll. Interesting. All right. So what is this? Liver detox. Okay. NAD. This is a big one. Vinegar. Digestion. Already seen. Pumpkin. I haven't seen that's new. We're still going to keep going because look at how much we are in revenue still, right? Just keep that in mind. We're still at 100K months. So if we can be at 100K months, that's good. So we're not going to stop here. Kingmaker. This is, I think, another nitric oxide. Okay. Yeah. So we've seen these before. What is this? This is a joint. Seen that. This is probably a competitor to boom, boom, nasal, like a nasal intake. Soursop. It's the first soursop we've seen. Let's see. What is this one? Energy and glucose. Okay. I didn't seen that overall health pretty broad what is this this is called more collagen i'm got dumb probiotics apple cider vinegar already seen that protein we've already seen greens we've already seen collagen cleanse like a gut cleanse more testosterone we've already seen this we've already seen a, like a gut health all right so we're 50 something products in guys and what have y'all noticed every single product has a repetitive like competitor or like a identical product that's doing just as well that's not a good sign for us unless we can improve on the product in a specific way so a great example of this is when tiktok had first launched there were only like it was all powders. There weren't many gummies. And so then these brands started launching gummies and TikTok just took off with gummies. And so that's a huge like improvement of the form factor, the delivery vehicle of the supplement. And so that's a way you can improve the product. And so out of these, out of these top 50 products, and I'm just going to show you an example because I did see one immediately here that I hadn't seen was the one I opened up on like the page three, this Lipozym. I don't know what this does. And so we're going to look it up together. Typically when I'm trying to figure out what a product does, I'll watch the videos and let's see what is that. I thought that was an ingredient, but I guess not. Let's go to the website. I hate that. I just clicked the sponsored dream body. Looks like gut. Interesting. Okay. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe I've never seen these ingredients. Let's listen to a video. Let me just put on the headset real quick. Hopefully y'all can hear this. Ah, uh, menopause. 
thinks you're getting crazy because of menopause. Ah. Uh, stuck. Chances are you have. Oh wow, it's a crazy hook. I used to be the glorified babysitter for a billionaire family everyone knows, but no one really knows. I don't understand how they can hide something this serious. Ladies, listen to this. If you feel heavy, bloated, low on energy and can't... Ah, uh, okay, all right. So I was sort of mistaken, halfway mistaken. It seems like this is... this. They target towards the menopause and like fupa, like oversized gut, which is not a bad angle to take, especially because it seems like their ingredients are very different. I've never seen these ingredients, and so it's interesting to see a product like this win so fast. Magnesium... Yeah, I've never seen these. And so... I. I would be really interested to see how long they've been out. So let's see that. I bet you it's under 90. Yep, look at that. Under 90 days. They launched December 11th is when they started getting tracked. So, I mean, pretty crazy to see the success that early on. Less than 90 days, they've already done $733,000 in sales with just 137 of that coming in one day. So pretty wild stats here. This is a product that I would say I could improve on. So it's a capsule. So a couple of things we're going to do here to identify if this is a winning product. All right. So what we're going to do is I know there's a huge boost. I know there's a ton of content. What we're also going to do is we're going to check. Oh, wow. Look at how much is live versus video. That's wild. They've killed it on live recently. What we're going to do is we're going to check their Amazon reviews. And so we're going to look up Liposim. Lipo. Bozum. Have they even got on Amazon yet? Oh, their Amazon is not optimized at all. That's so crazy. Is this even the right? I don't think this is the right one. It's not even the right listing. There's no way. Wow. They're not even on Amazon. Let's go look at their... I was going to look at the reviews on Amazon, but obviously I couldn't find it. Let's look at the reviews on TikTok. Customer reviews. Can I see this, please? Oh my God. It's going to make me go through the app store. That's so frustrating. Okay. Well, I would typically looking at reviews and seeing what people are complaining about, but off of Rip, there's what I would do. I would immediately, instead of doing as a capsule, I would do it in a gummy. And then I would try to figure out like what are some of the complaints about it and then solve one of those complaints. Very simple packaging. You could definitely improve on this. So like make it really woman focused. They're catering to menopause. So like I would cater to menopause. I would cater towards a woman's based product. I would launch this tomorrow. Like genuinely, I would, I would rush my manufacturer to pour a test batch of 500 units in a gummy, a pink gummy, super easy easy for them to take. And then I would just rip every single one of these videos and try to push it as hard as you can. And I, I'm quite confident that this would sell. And just this quick change on like branding and you could immediately launch this and win. And so this is how you identify a winner, right? Like there's not a single other product that is like catering to menopause. Now the gut thing, obviously everyone caters to that, but the menopause is a specific angle. And I'm sure if I listened to enough videos, I could find an ingredient they have listed on their website or in here, one of these magnesium, beta, hydro, whatever. And I bet you I could find a way for these to, you know, like a viral clip we could do. And I'm sure this is, I can't see anything without having the app store, but definitely a winner here, in my opinion. I would 1000% test buy, like not even test buy, I would launch this. Like that's not a doubt in my mind. Another one that I noticed that like I, I pointed out to y'all was these, was it this one or was this one? The eyes, these eye vitamins, because your eyes are such like a niche thing and you don't really hear a about your eyes, except for a couple of Joe Rogan clips, you could 1000% take this angle and win. Just keep doubling down on it. I think once again, this is very an ugly looking product. You could improve the form factor, improve some of the other reviews, maybe add a little bit more to like make it seem, I don't know, more all around. But at the end of the day, this is a great start to something. And I love what they did here. I've never seen this. They did like A plus content on TikTok, huh? But yeah, so hopefully that really gives y'all some insight on how to find a winning product here. I'm also going to show you a couple of other tools we can use inside of Caladata. So for to use this place as an example, they launched 90 days ago. So what we're also going to do, we're going to close all this out again. That's a winner. I really am a big fan of that. Let's try, say we want to find winners faster. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to page one, come here on this left-hand side, launch date within 30 days. And we're going to do look at the all the top products within the like most recent 30 days. And this is low key, like not a messed up thing to do, but like I've seen people really, cook with this, okay? Because they find something that just launches, has a really ab 
abrupt launch and they just steal it immediately. And I think that's like a really good idea and as bad as it is, like ignore these. This is just sets from a big brand. This one, I, I'm sure is just a, a second launch because they've been out for longer than whatever. But like this, Leafar, Her Juicy Feminine Probiotics. That's a normal probiotic. I don't know if I would like necessarily rip that. Portable Nebulizer. I don't know really what that is. Joint pain, hormone balance. Keep looking. Even though we're in like the second page, we're at still at decent revenue like in the first month. This is the last like 20 days basically that they've done this. So if they've done this, it's pretty good. Boosting blend. This one could be good if they have a good video angles. Here's a look, look at the spike. See that they have one day spike. They proved their theory somehow. And it looks like it's a nasal stick inhaler, but an energizing one. Okay. So it's like boom, boom, but it's supposed to be, I guess, more energy focused. I mean, I, I could be wrong here. I'm just doing like off of top research and looking at these as we go. But you get the point. I would keep checking this like every month or like at least twice a week and seeing what products are launching and growing because a lot of times you can find crazy, crazy jumps. So like if I look at the previous 30 days, I bet you I could find something that did crazy good. Yeah, like I've never seen this CBB, but I bet you if I would have caught that early, I could have just reproduced. Potent wood, you know what that is. So give that a shot. That's another really good option. If you want one more tool that that is really useful is you could do, you know, do last 30 days here. We're going to do is an affiliate product. Yes. We're going to do creator numbers. We're going to do 10 to 50. This is a really growing thing within 30 days. This is a super targeted, like we understand that if people are doing this, they'll get that spike. So if they have 10 to 50 creators right now, like this, Juicy does not surprise me at all. It's taken off so much because they've done the right things. They have the creators. They had a great day. Like today's their best day. That's crazy. Like I just caught that. And so, you know, they're probably really hitting the creatives really well. And, and they're all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. But one video, 650,000 views, 1.7K units sold on that one video. So that's the way to do it, guys. Hopefully y'all understand. I would rip that video right now, run ads to it and do the same thing and grow this. And so that's how you find a winner. Do not sleep on it. Make sure you are using Cala data to find winners. It's so, so easy. If you also want another thing, you could just scroll through the products or the videos, look at all the winning videos and just grab a new product that's coming up. So hopefully this was helpful to y'all guys. If y'all do want to try Cala data, I have my link below. You should get two free weeks if you do use that link. So if you have any questions and y'all want to work with me or want my help launching your own brand or finding your own niche or whatever it is, I do have a link below. So make sure y'all check that out. And guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. I will talk to y'all soon and uh, peace out.